Welcome aboard Infinite Altitudes, the channel where every journey through the skies opens new horizons. If you're passionate about aviation, intrigued by the engineering marvels that conquer the heavens, or simply love stories of human achievement, you've found your crew. Today we're diving into a tale that sounds like science fiction, but soared in our skies as stark reality. The Concorde, a supersonic marvel. This icon of aviation not only broke the sound barrier, but also the boundaries of what we thought possible in air travel. Conceived in the optimistic era of the 1960s, when humanity reached for the stars and dreamt of a future unbound by the present, the Concorde was a joint venture between France and the United Kingdom. Built by Aerospecial and the British Aircraft Corporation, it was the answer to the world's growing fascination with speed and efficiency. Taking its first flight in 1969, this sleek bird was more than an aircraft. It was a symbol of national pride and technological ambition. The Concorde promised to shrink the world, turning transatlantic crossings from weary hours into mere minutes of supersonic travel. But what made the Concorde a marvel of engineering? Let's start with its heart, the engines. Equipped with afterburners, a feature more common to fighter jets, the Concorde could accelerate beyond the speed of sound, cruising at twice the speed of sound, or Mach 2.04, at altitudes of up to 60,000 feet. This was far higher than any other commercial airliner, where passengers could glimpse the curvature of the Earth. Its delta wings, another signature feature, combined high speed efficiency with the capability to carry a substantial payload. This design was critical for achieving and maintaining supersonic speeds. Yet, it wasn't just about getting there faster. The Concorde's airframe was constructed with an innovative alloy capable of withstanding prolonged exposure to the high temperatures generated by supersonic flight. This aircraft didn't just fly. It glided on the edge of space, withstanding conditions that would ground lesser machines. And what was it like, flying faster than a speeding bullet? For the fortunate few who experienced Concorde's magic, it was unparalleled. The interior, though more intimate than today's jumbo jets, offered luxury that matched the marvel of its technology. Gourmet meals, fine champagne, and the exclusivity of being part of a select group who could say, I flew on the Concorde. It was not merely travel, it was an event. Every takeoff was a leap into the future, and every landing a return from a world of fantasy. Yet, for all its grandeur and speed, the Concorde was a child of its time, a supersonic dream in an evolving world. Environmental concerns, sonic booms, and economic challenges eventually grounded the Concorde in 2003, but not before it had indelibly marked its place in history. It showed us the limits of our ambition, not in technology, but in harmonizing progress with our planet. The Concorde remains a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of a bygone era when we race towards tomorrow. Its legacy lives on, not just in museums or memories, but in every dreamer who looks up at the sky and imagines what could be. Did the story of the Concorde ignite your imagination, or do you have your own tales of supersonic travel? We'd love to soar through your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Your insights and stories fuel our journey through the incredible world of aviation. For more tales of high-flying engineering, untold stories of aviation, please subscribe and stay tuned to Infinite Altitudes.